Hello, welcome pen friends. This is a special video. This I, I wanted to consolidate a big thank you for right now for all of the, the pen mail that I've been getting, um, letters from all over the place and and goodies it just overwhelms me. My heart is like bursting and just really this past week it's just been extraordinary. I'm always uh, having a good time with pen pal letters and and uh, I have a couple of pen pals where we exchange things, but this has been really extraordinary. It seemed like it corresponded with uh, the one year anniversary of me making videos. And uh, it also corresponded with this month. This is September 2018. If you're viewing this later, it might be a little confusing, but with me doing a, a 30 day ink series. So while I'm busy producing, you know, you know, studying the inks and then doing just a short 10 minute video each day so I haven't been able to like you know show as many of the things that are coming through the door and do as many thank yous because I was afraid I'd clutter up more the uh, 10 minute videos and so I thought well why don't I just gather a lot of the stuff it may not be everything even because I put things into use pretty quickly around here it's rare that I wouldn't have already um indexed all of these uh, ink samples that you can see all, all over but I haven't because I've been working on the 30-day series and I, and also we've had the uh, extraordinary family things and pet loss but so let's just I just thought I'd come on and show you you know kind of a little preview because you know how I like to review and talk about things so you'll be hearing more later now these over here there's 11 samples here that uh, you've seen because I did it on a really large uh, you know and I said a thank you the other day so these you've seen but I, we haven't done these these are four that came um, and I thought it'd be fun to read off what they are this is fountain pen revolution blue black and then diatramentus night blue Sherlock Holmes oh my goodness I, I can't believe I haven't already indexed these these have been here a few days J. Arbonne Vert de Grease. I think it's because of the preparations that I make on each day for the videos. Nemesine Blue Snowball Nebula. Ooh, that sounds pretty. So there are those. And then I received this cute, beautiful antique uh, pen, uh, pencil. It just kind of goes like this. It's like a bullet. Isn't that neat? And there were some extra ra erasers too. I think I, I put things away and Mercy, oh my goodness, just big thank yous all the way around as we go through these things. And some stickers. Um, some of this is mashed together, not from the same person, but um, and empty cartridges, which I always love and use. I really love those. Um, and then coming over here, some uh, some fountain pens, some Gen Hao 99, uh, 599s. I think that's, yeah, a hero. And then there was an unusual one that kind of ro rolled down. Um, that I hadn't seen before, V-A-F-A -A Scenario, and I kind of opened that up. Of course, I'm not inking up other pens right now, so it's a very unique time because because of the 30 inks, 30 days, I'm not not doing that. So then um, I showed you, but I just wanted to include this pen too, this Faber-Castile pen. Um, it has a name that I'm not yet familiar with, so I've written it down. Uh, on Daro, and that was thanks to Wayne that I knew what it was called because I, I didn't know. And then um, this fountain pen ink, the Diamine Skull and Roses. And then underneath here, maybe you can see the dot, dot grid composition notebook. I can't wait to work with that and see how that works. And then, oh my goodness, uh, buried but very, very, oh mercy, this was special. Um, these are Lee Pod journal stickers. She is an artist and, oh my goodness, beautiful. Um, that a, a pen friend sent me these with uh, the fountain pens and nibs and the inks. I've, I've seen her work on um, Instagram and, and admired it for a long time, but I've never had any of her stickers. And then there's a little journal underneath here to try. Um, I haven't been able to do it yet, you know, try things yet. It's been such an extraordinary time. Some bullet journal pens, which are they're triangle shaped almost like the Stadlers and they really really are cool I put one on paper the other day and I, th I thought these are nice so um, I'm always in bullet journaling every every day I'm working in there 
And then we'll save these for last because I, I have not looked at what they are. So I want to show you, I want to just read off at the end what those are. And then over here there's a little Maraman uh, notebook and it's that really nice paper. Apparently this came from the Dezico, uh dollar store up north of, in Texas. And that'll be a joy to work with. And then uh, a pen friend who's a um, pen pal since Inco Rimo made this little, uh, it's a postcard, but I'm not going to turn it over because I think it has maybe name and things that, you know, she'd like to keep uh, private. But isn't that neat? It's stitched and, and uh, put together and it's just really, really amazing. I love it. So, and crystals, crystals all the way from the United Kingdom. This is a blue John. This person already has a letter uh, in, wait, I don't want to say it wrong. I'm thinking I already wrote back, but it, probably not, because this was just, just Saturday, and yeah, so the letter is forthcoming. I don't want to say the wrong thing. That'd be too easy to say I've, I've written. Um, this is Blue John, and it's beautiful. It's native of the area there where she lives, and then this is Louisan. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But you know, I'll be doing further research with the information that she sent and emailed and with what I can find. And this is um, a beautiful little piece of mer merlinite, it's called. And I'm hoping you can see that. It's got a lot of detail and it's got a lot of different uh, colors in it. But they're just precious, my goodness. And then, um, oh, a swan, a Jen House swan pen, which I had not seen in person yet. I'd seen them on online and started to hear a lot about these and I have one now so I think it has the um whoops uh it has the number five nib it looks like correct me if I'm wrong but I think that's a number five nib so I can't ink up anything right now because of this challenge unless I replace my serendipity with uh with it and probably we need to stick with that broad nib and then here's another one um that I'll have to refer back to the information in the letter but it's pretty um oh my that's interesting that looks like an ebonite feed whoops sorry we're not getting the focus i'd like there okay uh, but this is for later we will go through different things and i just want to say there are four ink samples in here from this person and um oh no there are five there's another one laying on its side one one is um uh a special one let me let me go ahead and move this here I, I, didn't want to be embarrassing people by name, but I wanted to talk about the fact that one of these is kind of special. But yeah, okay, here it is. Um, one of them is Noodler's Brexit, which I don't know whether that's easy to come by. I don't think so. And it's very unusual, so I can't wait. And the other four, to think that someone like mixed, you know, I don't know anything about mixing fountain pen ink, but I'm going to have a good time seeing what she made. And writing with her uh, formula, you know, what she came up with. So this is just overwhelming to me. Happy and excited. Uh, but such a unusual time with uh, with the family stuff and the pet loss. And with the 30 inks, 30 days challenge. That I thought that a video might say faster the thank yous. While I'm also writing letters each day. Um... You know, I thought you guys would understand that, of course, I want to do individual thank yous, and I'm going to. But let's get in here. I thought it might be fun for you to know what's in here, and I'll just read what's in here. Um, and then we'll, I haven't even indexed them yet, which is very rare for me, and you guys know that. So this is Noodler's Summer Tan Tanager. Ooh, it looks almost orange. That makes me think of the name of a bird. Um, I can't remember the name it could be orange tan tanager i'm not sure okay noodler's bay state cranberry caution okay that's probably maybe something that might stain because we know that can happen and i'm a i'm a demonstrator girl so with my fountain pens okay this is noodler's polar purple Ooh, polar purple Sh uh schneider schneider whoops oh my goodness swartz blue black blue these will all be coming up later for us, whoops, um, in ink reviews and different videos. Sitz Cruise Knock, Palm Green. I am familiar with Palm Green. It is a beautiful ink. 
Private Reserve Ebony Purple. Wow, I don't, hmm, I don't know whether I have any Private Reserve. Noodlers, Black Swan, and English Roses. Oh, that's cool because I got some once from another pen uh, friend a long time ago and very little of it survived. There was some sort of an accident with the vial. So that is amazing. Diamine Udinil. Okay, I'm not very good at those pronunciations. And please pardon me if I'm going too fast. I, I just want to keep the video somewhere near reasonable. Noodler's Polar Blue. Wow. Oh my, look at this. Noodler's Dragon Catfish Green. Oh my goodness. It looks like what they, you'd see on, a, on the fishing lure or something. Vintage Schaefer Scrip. Persian Rose. Oh my goodness, that sounds tremendously beautiful. Private Reserve Buttercup. Awesome. Um, Schneider Violet. Okay. Sitz Kruznock Granite Black. Oh, that would be interesting. I haven't really dabbled a lot with black inks, so that's going to be cool. Sitz Kruznock uh, chestnut brown. I'm going to read the English uh, version just to save your ears. <laughs> Whenever it's available there. Schaefer's script tw number 22, blue black. Oh, oh, another unusual one. Noodler's Firefly. Now, I've heard of this. I can't remember what I've heard about it, but that will be a, that will be a real experiment because I can remember a little bit. Noodler's Polar Black. That must be some kind of a series. Polar. It, polar's coming up quite a bit. Noodler's Polar Green. Sitz Kruznog Navy Blue. It also says Marine Blue. <laughs> I stick with English whenever I can so I don't mangle it. Noodler's Habanero. This is nice. I have very, very little of that in a sample that I came by from someone who was uh, kind of lightening up their samples. So I will enjoy having enough of that to really see how it writes. Noodler's Lexington Gray. That's going to be beautiful. I, I think I've seen it definitely on Instagram. Noodler's Dragon's Napalm. I think I've seen a sample of this one. But that's only like maybe three out of all those that, that I have had or seen. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I'll clean this up later. But... I just, this is really, my whole purpose is just to say a big thank you and also to say that I, I value and cherish the letters just as much as, as these unexpected and, and very generous gifts. Um, and I want you all to know that. And uh, of course, uh, I have, I can see at least three uh, letters to respond to in my pen pal uh, binder right now. So I'll be getting to that. And, uh, but meanwhile, thank you. And this will give you an idea of some of the things that you'll see later in videos. Right now, we're pretty focused. I think all of you and I am really focused on the 30 inks, 30 days, which is fun and good. But it'll be kind of neat because there, there's a lot more um, uh, specific inks that we can go into later. Uh, the Ink Flight and some of the others and that I've now learned a little bit more about how to compare them and talk about them. So... Thank you for viewing, and thank you for all this wonderful mail. You know who you are. I didn't want to be singling out people, you know, names, because there's even more things, I'm sure, because I integrate things right into what I'm using pretty fast. So I was having trouble remembering what came in recently and what I'd had for a while, and I just want to say a big thank you. I appreciate you, and I appreciate everybody that, that's here. Uh, think of you all as pen friends, so... Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow for, what's today? Today's the 18th, so for day 19 of 30 Inks, 30 Days. Bye for now.